Yes, I'm leaving. Leaving. I'm long gone. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today is the start of week six, where I track one company for the next 52 weeks. Can you imagine we're already six weeks in? The one company that I'm tracking is AMD. We're gonna track their price charts. We're gonna track the news, the good news and bad news to see how profitable can I be at the end of 52 weeks by tracking all information for one company for the next 52 weeks. Well, we're in week six and my portfolio is looking good. Last week, my portfolio went up 2.5%, up $523.69. And for the last month, I'm up almost 10%, up $1,859.39. Now let's take a look at AMD. AMD shot through the roof this week with their earnings report. Okay, guys, let's click on AMD right quick. On AMD on the week, AMD on the week is up 11.72%. You guys can clearly see after their earnings report on July 28, their stock shot up from being down 2%. And then their earnings report came out and they was up 11% on the day. Over the last month, AMD is up 46.35%. Wow, that is insane, guys. AMD is up 46% over the last month. But they had a killer week. The earnings report came out. The reason AMD is doing so well is because Intel is doing so poorly. AMD is now the only chip uh, CPU makers on the market with a seven nanometer chip and Intel, uh, they can't make their chips right now at the wait. And I think they're gonna have to outsource to make that seven nanometer chip. So right now, AMD is killing it. Now, stay tuned to where we get into the news and then we do our uh, technical analysis over AMD because you don't wanna miss out on this great opportunity for AMD on some news that I read that's gonna come out, so make sure you stay tuned to it. Now I'm looking at, I have 47 shares worth of AMD. I've been trading on AMD with about $200 every single week here or there. I've been uh, trading with $200. So that's all I've been playing with over the last, well not playing, that's all I've been investing with over the last five weeks of AMD. Uh, my market value is $3,639.74. My average cost is $33.43. Now I'm currently up $2,067.67, up 131%. So I was a believer in AMD so long ago, and I'm glad I was able to pick up all of those shares. So the profit that I had over the last week from AMD over week five was right here. I did an AMD trailing stop sell. Um, you guys remember from last week, I let one stock ride it out. I let it ride all the way out. And then I did a trailing stop sell of 1% of trailing percentage of 1% and it had a trigger stop price of $76.13, bringing me to a profit from that one share of letting it ride from last week to this week, $7.39. And that's going to be my total trading profit since I started this AMD challenge to $31.62 profit. So that is amazing that I have not lost all of my money yet that I trade with about $200. That means I'm up around 16% with what I trade with. Would I have been better off if I just bought three shares and just let it ride all the way up? Sure, I would have been better off, but I'm learning as I go. And if you guys would have watched my last video, I learned from a big mistake, but not closely watching AMD biggest competitor. That's why this week, when we look at the news, we're gonna look at another AMD competitor, Nvidia. And Robinhood also have this cool feature to where if you bought AMD, it shows other stocks that people bought that also bought AMD. And Nvidia is the first one on here. So that's how you know there's AMD, one of AMD biggest competitor. Also Microsoft and Intel, and then Micron Technology, okay? So Intel, Microsoft, Nvidia. Right now, with what AMD got coming out soon, NVIDIA is their biggest competitor. So let's go on ahead and dive into what news AMD got coming up soon. All right, YouTube, here we are. Here's a news article that I found about AMD. Not only that AMD make CPUs, but they also make graphic cards. And the next big graphic cards that got coming out is supposed to be NVIDIA's biggest um, competitor to their RTX 3080. Now, can't nothing really mess with NVIDIA's graphics cards, especially their high 
performance graphics cards. So everyone knows that there's the best in the technology world when it comes to graphics cards. So AMD is gonna try to make the most powerful graphics card that they can possible for all of the gamers out there. And then they're gonna try to beat them with the price. So let's say Nvidia have a graphics card that is the most powerful on the market. And then AMD have a graphics card that's the second most powerful on the market. It's just a little bit below or about 75% worth of AMD. They're gonna try to outprice them by dropping their prices dramatically so that they can compete with Nvidia um, technology when it comes to graphics cards. It's not gonna be as good as the um, RTX 3080. Everyone knows that, but the price that AMD is gonna come out with is gonna make you scratch your head and say, wow, what would I get the most bang for my buck for? All right, so if we're looking here, the uh, the big navy is the big nave is what they're gonna call their new GPU. It's supposed to be 15% more powerful than Nvidia's old uh, flagship graphics card, the 2080. So I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be up there with the 3080, but it's gonna be 15% more powerful than the 2080. And hopefully they drop the price even below the price of the 2080 to make people buy new. AMD graphics cards other than used NVIDIA 2080 graphics cards, TIs, okay? So that is what AMD is gonna have to deal with over the next couple, couple of months. If we take a look here, all right, so it's supposed to come out in the first quarter of 2021, and they're supposed to be doing a showing, a reveal of it in early September with the release planned on October 7th, all right? So if you think AMD is gonna do a great job with this release, a great job with the pricing, even though it's not gonna be as strong as Nvidia's, um, you could put in some call options, which is risky, and hopefully by October 7th or the first quarter of 2021, so you could, you could buy some cheap call options right now, way out in the reach past October, past uh, September, at a, at a good price if you think AMD is gonna do good on this release so that you could buy at a good price right now, thinking that that price might go up to $100 from right now until September, get in some calls and try to play the news that way. I think I'm gonna wait for AMD to pull back a little bit looking at the charts, which is what we're about to pull up right now. All right, so here we are looking at the charts. You guys could tell that it has an amazing boom over the last week, week and a half. It shot up 34% over the last week and a half, all right? So if we're looking at the four hour chart, it's not really much to look at. It is very overpriced right now. It's super overvalued. But if we just zoom in just a little bit, the MACD just crossed at the top and it's starting to show red. The RSI shows that it's still overvalued. So hopefully I'm gonna let AMD pull back a little bit. We're gonna look at a different time frame. This is the four hour 180 day chart. It might not ever get back to this line again, the $58 price point. But if it do, I think that's going to be used as its old support line. So the MACD just crossed over. AMD could trade sideways for a little bit, but I'm going to wait till these red bars eventually come back around and turn green to where I'm going to get in at a good position again and buy three more shares worth of AMD. If we zoom in on the one hour, 20 day chart, I see AMD pulling back to touch the 180 day simple moving average green line right here. So it could trade sideways for a bit going sideways out that way to let this green line catch back up. All the green line could continue to, to come up in this uptrend right here. And AMD, let's say if it continues to come up flat like this, AMD could fall back down to this line right there over the next couple of days and I will buy in whenever it touches the green line on the 180 day simple moving average on the one hour 20 day chart. That's going to be the next time I buy in on AMD. So hopefully this week I could get in on a good trade or if I see some good news come out, I might just bite the bullet and buy it at a almost $80 price point to hope that it goes up. But right now, I see that it's overvalued. I'm gonna let AMD pull back a little bit. That is the risky part about trading is that you don't wanna, if you only wanna buy when you see a great setup. Right now, it's not a great setup. Yes, AMD is killing it right now, but it's not a great setup and I don't wanna lose any profits that I made so far. So far, I'm up around 16% since I've started, which is amazing. But if I don't see a good setup, I'm not gonna take it. So I'm gonna just wait 
if it pulls back on the one hour 20 day chart i'm gonna go ahead and get in and i'll let you guys know how this turns out next week so if you guys want to keep up with me in this challenge and just come to me for your all amd news make sure that you scroll down and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace